Hey everyone, I'm David J. Today I'm bringing you an overdrive shootout for my friends at Maxon FX. Maxon are pretty much the creators of that classic green overdrive box and now there are many variations of it. So naturally the question comes up, what is the difference between all of these overdrives? So we thought it would be valuable to uh, grab a handful of them and do a side-by-side -side comparison so that we can answer your question and hopefully uh, help you choose which one might be good for your sonic needs. For the demo, I'm using this PRS 513 into uh, the pedals and then straight into this Dr. Z Z-Reg, which at my settings today is providing a beautiful, clean palette to really let the pedals shine through. So before we get started, uh, I want to say a word about gear demos in general. Um, there's a lot of variables that are going into the signal chain here between the source and what's coming out of your speakers. What amp is being used, what speaker is being used, how are the speakers being mic'd, what mic pre is being used with the microphone, and on and on and on. So I'm just trying to bring you as real a representation of what these pedals are about as possible. Okay, let's take a look at the Maxon overdrives that we have on the floor today. We've got the OD808 the OD9 Overdrive, the OD9 Pro Plus Overdrive, the VOP9 Vintage Overdrive Pro, and the ST9 Pro Plus SuperTube. So, they're all overdrives. You know, the specifics in them, uh, the chips and such, we're not gonna get into that. You know, who really cares? Uh, they're all overdrives. The, the difference is what we're listening for. What are the sonic differences in them? They're all awesome. They just do slightly different things, okay? The 808 was the original circuit. I think back in 74 is when Maxon invented that and then everybody else took it and did a lot of stuff with it. Um, so what we're gonna do, all of the pedals are set to the same thing. Volume and tone are straight up the middle, okay? The gain knob uh, is, or drive knob, depending on which pedal you're looking at here, is turned all the way off. So let's take a listen to each of the pedals with tone and volume uh, straight up the middle, gain all the way off, okay? Here's the amp by itself. <laughs> Slightly dirty, that's the way that I set up my stuff to begin with. Perfect candidate to have an overdrive push it a little bit more. Now let's listen to the colors from each of these overdrives. Start with the OD-808. Okay, the OD-9. The OD9 Pro Plus. So right there, those three pedals, we've got some really nice differences. Let's go back to the 808. OD9. They sound similar, but you can hear the difference. The difference is, you know, the OD9 has a bit of a more mild, smoother kind of saturation happening. Maybe a bit more mid-range on the OD9. Let's go to the OD9 Pro Plus, which is definitely not compressing as much as either of the first two, and therefore not producing as much drive as the other two. It's certainly coloring the sound, as we can hear, it's taking the amp signal, which is this, and kind of chopping off some higher frequencies, not making it break up quite as much, all right? Let's move on to the VOP9. Okay, this one has a lot more meat on the low end to it. And finally, let's go to the ST9 Pro Plus. Okay, now that is a lot more aggressive. It's got a lot more upper mid range to it. A lot more harder clipping than the other overdrives that are on here. Okay. 
okay? So that is each of the pedals with the tone and the volume straight up and the gain, overdrive, uh, drive, whatever you want to call it, all the way off, all right? Let's do just a little bit of lead through each of these settings here. That's the 808, OD9, OD9 Pro Plus, again, much more subtle, the VOP9, and then the ST9 Pro Plus. You know, definitely much more aggressive. Okay, now let's bring the drive on each of our pedals up to halfway. And let's take a listen to what that does. So again, here's our clean tone. And here's halfway up on the 808. Very classic overdrive kind of sound to that. Let's go to the OD9. Very similar to the 808 at this level. Both of them are really smooth, classic type of overdrives. The OD9 Pro Plus. Again, that pedal is definitely not as compressed as the other ones. similar, not as compressed. Let's go to the VOP9. Yeah, again, that one has a lot of balls to it, and it's got the same amount of gain, it's just because the lower mids and the low end is pushing a little bit more. Very amp-like overdrive. And then the uh, ST9 Pro Plus. Much brighter, much more aggressive. Again, almost a hard clipping distortion type of sound here. Okay, and let's go through again a little bit of lead tone. Uh, again, there's nothing else in between the guitar and the amp except for these pedals here. It's the 808 to the OD9. brighter high end than the uh, 808 OD9 Pro Plus Again not as compressed but still a lot of the same characteristics here's the VOP9 behind those single note lines because of the accentuated lower mids and, and low end. <laughs> Sounds great. And finally, the ST9 Pro Plus. Again, much more aggressive. Okay, finally, let's crank the overdrive all the way up and take a listen to what that's doing to each of our pedals. Again, here is the clean OD-808. Definitely a classic type of overdrive, almost like a push Marshall kind of thing. Here's the OD9. Very 
similar to the OD-808, but a different kind of tonal character in the upper mids. A little bit brighter. All right, here is the OD-9 Pro Plus. Again, that is not as compressed, so it's like, uh, I don't know. It sounds awesome, though. <laughs> I really dig that one. So it's got that classic overdrive. It's just not as compressed as... So it makes it sound a little bit more aggressive because it's not quite as compressed. Let's go to the OD, uh, the VOP9. Okay, this one now, because it's pushing so much uh, and it's got a lot more low in frequency, we are hearing the compression, which is kind of definitely pushing it towards soft clipping overdrive, not quite as aggressive. Okay, then finally the ST9 Pro Plus. Okay, uh, again, more aggressive type of clipping, brighter sound, um, but definitely compressing to kind of smooth things out a little bit more, okay? Let's go through and do just a tiny bit of lead with this stuff. That's the OD-808, it sounds really good, very smooth. Really easy to play through, actually. Let's go to the OD-9. You know, very similar to the Maxim, but like I said before, it's got this different tonal characteristic in the upper mid range. Um, it's, it's hard to put my finger on it. Very classic, you know, 70s type of overdrive. The OD-808 is smoother on the top end. That's pretty much what it is. Let's go to the OD-9 Pro Plus. So again, again same kind of uh, overdrive characteristic, but not as compressed. So if you want a little bit more open sound and, and not as compressed, uh, the OD-9 Pro Plus is a really nice pedal uh, really surprising me, actually, I don't know why, but uh, it is. Okay, the Maxon VOP9. <laughs> Louder at this, um, at this drive level, which is all the way up here. You know, Awesome, very smooth, not aggressive, but not like dull at all. It's just got a really great amp-like quality to it. A lot of beef on it, which I love for single note usage because it does put a lot of nice balls behind it. Finally, the ST9 Pro Plus. <laughs> Again, as expected, aggressive, lot more high end to it, okay? So, you know, we're learning a whole bunch of stuff out of all of these pedals. They all sound great. It just depends on which color you're going for. Classic, vintage type of overdrive in the OD-808. Um, slightly different, higher frequency characteristic, but same kind of drive in the OD-9. Definitely not as compressed when we get over to the OD-9 Pro Plus. Love that pedal. Uh, the VOP-9 has been a staple on my pedal board for many years now, and it never ceases to amaze me. It's got such great low mid, low end characteristic that, especially for single note type stuff, it just gives your single note stuff a lot of balls. Um, and then finally, the ST9 Pro Plus, which I, I don't have a lot of experience with, if you're looking for maybe a more uh, aggressive type, almost a distortion type of characteristic with hard clipping, more aggressive higher end, the ST9 Pro Plus is gonna do it for you, okay? And you can hear I'm playing the same thing either in the rhythm or the lead stuff because that's how you demonstrate. You need to be able to hear the difference while having a constant behind it.
Okay. Um, anyway, uh, we do have a couple things that we need to talk about here. Voltages. Uh, they can all run on 9 volt, but the OD9 Pro Plus, VOP9, and ST9 Pro Plus can run also at 18 volt, which will give you a different characteristic as well. Everything right now is running at 9 volts, though, for you know uh, demonstration purposes. Um, what else do we have here? On the OD9 Pro Plus, you can see here, let's push this back out on a midway. We've got a normal and boost switch. Let's see what that does. <laughs> Sounds like a mid-range to upper mid-range kind of boost. It's subtle, but it's definitely there. It's a nice little thing. Um, the SD9 Pro Plus has a lot of options here. Let's go over to that. Bring it back down here. This knob right here is called the Mid Enhance. As you would expect, it's going to enhance the mid-range. It's going to make it even more aggressive, help you cut through a mix. And then we've got a switch here that says classic or low boost. Right now, as I've been playing, it's all classic. Let's bump it up to low boost. I mean, it's, it does what it's saying it's going to do. It's giving us a nice low boost. So with that pedal, you have a lot of tonal options. If it's too bright for you, too aggressive, bump up or decrease the mid-range, bump up the low boost. I think you'll get a really nice balance out of everything. So there we have a great comparison between five of Maxon's overdrives. They make more, so maybe another time we'll compare a whole bunch more. But for now, I'm really satisfied with this demonstration here. Um, answering your questions, but also mine as well, is what's the difference? So it's really cool to hear, you know, all similar, all awesome, but one might give you, uh, you know, a little bit more that you're looking for than the other. So I hope you've enjoyed it. For more information, you go to maxoneffects.com. My name is David J. Hope to see you around.